Paul Cole was a professional hunter and a candidate during the 287th hunter exam, who met his gruesome demise during the Chimera Antarch. The scene where Pito lobotomized and probed Pockle's brain to manipulate him is considered to be one of the most traumatic scenes in the series. Pockle, who was a skilled archer and an aspiring hunter of fantastic beasts, was never able to fulfill his dreams due to his unfortunate end by the hands of the Chimera Ants. Hello, this is the Hunter Hunter Institute. In this video, we will be discussing Pockle's strengths and nen abilities, as well as his relationship with Ponzu, which was not explained in the story. We will also talk about the theory that Pockle reincarnated into Marowem. We hope that you enjoy this video until the end. If you think Pockle's lobotomy scene is the most traumatic scene in Hunter x Hunter, give this video a thumbs up. And let us know what other traumatic scenes in the story are memorable to you in the comment section. 1. Pockle Pockle was an examinee during the 287th Hunter exam, and along with Gon and Karapika, passed the exam and earned the professional hunter title. At first, he seemed to be an unimportant background character, but as he appeared more often in the story, he increasingly became a more attractive character to the fans. As a professional hunter, he aimed to become a hunter of fantastic beasts, and after the hunter exam concluded, he deepened his relationship with Ponzu, who he met during the exam and continued continue to work and travel together. There is also a theory that Ponzu and Pockle were in a romantic relationship, so we will discuss that later on in the video. During the Hunter exam, scenes of him keeping his cool when gauging the difference in strength between himself and his opponent, and his cunning in waiting for the right moment to strike his prey are depicted, and it suggests that he has a solid personality. In a series filled with characters that have cheat-level Nen abilities, Pockle is a character that can be considered typical of what one would expect from a hunter in the general sense. Also, after the final phase of the hunter exam, Pockle got angry over Krapika's win in the tournament battle, showing that even though he seems cool-headed, he also has an emotional side. Among the various eccentric exam takers, Pockle could be said to be comparatively normal. Two. Pockle's Strengths So how strong is Pockle? In the final phase of the Hunter exam, he was utterly defeated by Hanzo without even putting up a fight. Since Pockle excels in using traps and using a bow and arrow as weapons, it is thought that he is not good at direct combat. Among his peers, Leo Rio would probably be the only one that is evenly matched with him in terms of direct combat. However, the evaluation from the Hunter Association to receive a professional hunter license is not only based on combat ability, so Pockle must have received a relatively high score in his evaluation. During the final phase tournament that was organized by Chairman Netero, examinees of similar evaluations were made to fight each other, and Pockle was placed in the same position as Kurapika and Hisoka. Throughout the Hunter exam arc, Pockle did not know how to use Nen, in which learning how to use it is a challenge in itself. However, when he made his reappearance in the Chimera Antark, he was shown fighting with newly acquired Nen abilities. Pockle was depicted shooting down Chimera Ant soldiers with his Nen arrows, so he certainly had the minimum strength required of a hunter. However, when he faced off against squadron leader Zazan's subordinate Pike, Pockle's orange arrow, which he says is his fastest Nen arrow, was easily caught by Pike. Unfortunately, Pockle was captured and met an untimely death before he could fully utilize his abilities in the Chimera Antark. 3. Nen Ability Pockle's Nen ability is called Rainbow. He can transmute his aura into seven differently colored arrows. At first glance, it seems to be an emission type Nen ability, but in reality, Rainbow is the power to transmute his aura into arrows and change its properties. So the ability itself also incorporates transmutation type elements. As the name Rainbow suggests, it is believed that Pockle's Nen ability's greatest feature is the ability to use different colored arrows with different effects depending on the situation. 
In the story, Paco was only shown using two types of arrows, red and orange. The red arrow that he used to defeat a Chimera Ant Soldier had the ability to burst into flame on contact, causing the target to catch on fire. The orange arrow is said to have the fastest speed, and considering Paco's fighting style, it is inferred that it would be most effective when used as a surprise attack, like sniping. So, what were the special abilities for the remaining five types of arrows? From here, we will be making our own guesses for what types of characteristics the other arrows in Rainbow had. Considering that the red arrow had the ability to catch fire, we can infer that the remaining arrows would have abilities corresponding to the respective colors, linked to the image the color holds. As you know, imagery is very important when it comes to Nen. This is what we think the characteristics of the remaining five arrows were. Yellow arrow, an arrow that emits a bright light flash to blind the opponent. Green arrow, an arrow that upon hitting an ally can physically heal them or cure them from ailments. Blue arrow, an arrow that upon hitting the target freezes them. Purple arrow, an arrow that upon hitting the target can poison them. Indigo arrow, an arrow that combines the effects of other arrows but it comes with limitations and restrictions. Since Paco only used two types of arrows in the story, us Hunter Hunter fans can't help but wonder what types of powers his other arrows held. Again, the abilities of the five arrows that we mentioned are just our own predictions. What kind of characteristics do you think his other arrows had? Please let us know in the comment section. 4. Pockle's Relationship with Ponzu when it comes to Pockle, he is often thought of as being a set with the B user Ponzu, who was also an examinee in the Hunter exam. There is a lot of debate among fans about whether Pockle and Ponzu had a romantic relationship. In order to answer this question, it's important to look deeper into the original source material. Based on what is shown in the story, it can be inferred that Pockle and Ponzu were not romantically involved with each other. They met during the Hunter exam, and they certainly hit it off from there and started working together as hunters. Ponzu was part of the Chimera Ant's investigation team, so it's not surprising that Pockle, who aimed to be a beast hunter, and Ponzu, who loved animals, worked together because of their shared interests and objectives. You can imagine that they had mutual respect and understanding for each other, but the way they are depicted in the story is simply as hunter friends who share the same goals. In the original story, there are no particular scenes where Pockle and Ponzu are depicted as being intimate with each other. However, because they have many scenes where they are working together, and they make a cute couple appearance-wise because of their similar height and clothing, it is possible that the desire and imagination of being lovers has become stronger among fans. It is not clear whether this is due to the fans' enthusiasm or whether the production side also pushed the theory of Pockle and Ponzu being lovers. In the anime version of Hunter x Hunter, there are episodes related to Pockle and Ponzu that are not in the manga. In the anime original episode added in the Hunter exam arc, they were stranded on a battleship and had to work together in order to repair it. In the anime adaptation of the Chimera Antar, there are interactions that depict Pockle and Ponzu as if they were lovers as they journey to NGL. As such, the relationship between Pockle and Ponzu is portrayed very differently in the anime anime compared to the manga. To conclude, in the manga, Pockle and Ponzu are not explicitly shown to be lovers, but due to them looking good together as a couple and the desire and imaginations of the fans and anime creators, it had led to them being portrayed as such in the anime. As a result, fans who prefer the manga believe that they are not in a relationship, while anime fans believe that they are in a relationship, resulting in conflicting opinions. We personally believe that in the manga, Pockle fell in love with Ponzu, and ultimately, the two of them end up dating. Pockle has an emotional side and is not naturally good at direct combat, but he chose to fight the Chimera Ants to protect Ponzu, even though he knew that he was no match for them. At least this is how we interpret it, but what do you all think? Please give this video a like if you think Ponzu and Pockle were in love. 5. Maruam Reincarnation Theory when it comes to Pockle, one thing we cannot avoid talking about is his very shocking death. 
He was killed by Pito, who used a needle-like object to poke and prod at his brain to extract information about his Nen abilities, and then killed him off once they got the information they needed. It was quite a shocking sight to see. But despite this tragic death, there is a theory that says Pockle may have reincarnated as Maruam. This theory seems to be a bit of a stretch, but as YouTubers who love to discuss theories like this, we simply cannot ignore it. We have compiled evidence that supports the theory that Maruem is Pockle's reincarnation. 1. The timing of Maruem's birth and Pockle's death. Immediately after Pockle was killed and fed to the Chimera Ant Queen, Maruem was born, and even earlier than planned. Pockle's death and Maruem's birth coincide at a time where it would not be surprising if he had been reincarnated. If we consider that Pockle, a high quality food, was offered to the Queen and reincarnated into Maruem, it can also explain why Maruem was born earlier than expected. 2. The Humans Who Became Food General Chimera ant soldiers and squadron leaders are born with humans and beasts as their base. In other words, even just regular humans, animals, or even insects can be reborn as powerful Chimera ants. It is without a doubt that the most powerful base for forming the Chimera Ant King Maruem would be Pockle a hunter who had Nen abilities. This leads to the next piece of evidence, which is about their shared appearance. 3. The Appearance of Maruem and Pockle Another piece of supporting evidence that Pockle is the base of Maruem is that they have similar physical features. Pockle was not very tall, and neither was Maruem. Maruem's facial features are also similar to Pockle's, and he was already a skilled Nen user at the time of his birth. The conclusion we draw from all of this evidence is that Maruem's base was definitely Pockle. But this does not exactly mean reincarnation. The theory that Pockle was reincarnated as Maruem is quite hard to believe. When considering it from various angles, we can see that there are similarities between Pockle and Maruem. So there is a high possibility that Pockle was selected as the base of Maruem. On the other hand, when someone is reincarnated into a Chimera Ant, they typically retain memories and personality of one's past life, which is not the case with Maruem. Therefore, it is undeniable that Pockle was an important element in the formation of Maruem. Maybe not reincarnation, but he definitely played an important part in his birth. In this video, we discussed the connection between Maruem and Pockle. But personally, we would also like to see something like Ikalgo and Kite being the reincarnations of Pockle and Ponzu, and they reappear as lovers. Anyone who wants Pockle and Ponzu to reappear in the story as lovers in their reincarnations is already a member of the Hunter Hunter Institute. What do you think about this theory? Let us know in the comments. We'll continue to post videos to show how great Hunter Hunter is, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That's all for today. See you all again in the next video.